Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your daily general message for Tuesday, May 26, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So whomever this is meant for, I pulled a 10 card spread, 5 above, 5 below, they're already giving messages as well as an outcome card and two clarifiers. All right, so let's get started here. Cool deck, somebody sent me this uh, Empress of, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name. <laughs> she's a friend of mine, Kimmy, uh, has this channel and um, she's wonderful, absolutely beautiful person inside and out. So let's get started here. We first start off with the nine of wands. So somebody has been kind of like surrounded by their wands. Um, in regards to frustration, I feel okay. Now they want to take action, all right? And I definitely feel that they're trying to make that choice, that decision, trying to have the strength to be able to do so. I feel that both parties want this wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups here. Now, here it's where it gets interesting. You got the, the Queen of Cups here. She does represent water, but it's all about the love, baby. Uh, but definitely this Queen of Cups is turned looking at the two of swords so this is something that you have to think about the sword energy is the thoughts here but what's wild is with this deck in particular what i instantly picked up was you can see right through it so i definitely feel that whoever um is going through this in regards to somebody whom they love that walked away with the eight of cups here all right they know that there's going to be a decision made this Queen of Cups is also known for being very intuitive as well. So you could have a touch of in intuition kicking in here. But you see how that scarf is literally see-through. So it's kind of like, I see that there's going to be this decision made, okay, in regards to getting this wish fulfillment with this nine, this nine of cups here, okay. Now, I do feel that the person who is trying to make that decision, this nine of wands dude okay a little frustrated he can't look he's looking away he can't look at what to do right now he was a little in, indecisive in regards to what to do with his thoughts here right with the two of swords now the chicka on the other hand with the queen of cups she already knew she already knew she knows that even though this person walked away they're going to get their wish fulfillment they can see a decision being made in regards to getting this wish here now the dude with the nine of wands here he was a little perplexed with his thoughts. He kept going back and forth in his head in regards to what to do here with the Five of Swords. That's that wishy-washy back and forth in his head here. What he had to do was he had to put in uh, the work in regards to the Eight of Pentacles here. He had to put in the work, all right, and run right after that, actually surrounding that with the Five of Swords, he's got the Three of Pentacles. That's putting in the work. So he was really, he was pulling a double on overtime in regards to his thoughts here as to figure out what exactly he wants because he's got the, sorry, new deck, 10 of swords. So he did put in this work. He came to that completion in regards to his thoughts. But the thing is, is that the 10 of swords also represents, you know, cutoff of that communication as well. Swords represent communication, not just thoughts. So here's the outcome. Then I'll sum it up. I have to show you the outcome. In order to take this next step with this four of wands energy here, he had to close up, or I'm not putting gender on it, but he had to put on this, you know, this phase of not opening up, okay? Absolutely, with the four of pentacles here. He had to get his balance, which explains the ten of swords. He had to come to that completion with his thoughts here, okay? And he also had to hold within, but now he's ready to talk with the queen of swords, okay? Now, the queen of swords does represent communication, uh, does represent air sign quality, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so you could be or you could be dealing with one, but here's the gist of it. Sorry, hair. Um, somebody couldn't look at the situation for the longest time with that nine of wands, okay? Totally got frustrated, tried to stay strong, wanted to communicate is what I'm feeling here, but they had to make that choice, okay? They knew what they wanted. They wanted this wish fulfillment. Meanwhile, back on the ranch, the dude left, okay? Not to throw it out there, but it is what it is, what I'm feeling here. Now, back on the ranch, that Queen of Cups energy is kind of like, I know this person's coming back. I know I'm going to get my wish fulfillment. I can see right through this. Her intuition, she's very in touch with her own intuition. 
Meanwhile, the guy literally had to put a lot of work into the situation in regards to his thoughts here because he was going back and forth, back and forth here. And then he came to that completion. He had to stay quiet with the communication with the Ten of Swords as well as he had to end that mental anguish. In order to take this next step with this person, he had to calm his mind, get his balance here, and kind of stay quiet with the whole situation. But now I feel he is making that choice right now to communicate. And that's what I have. I hope that this helps, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, click that bell on the side to get updated information. You guys rock. Stay strong, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.